Timmy Failure Mistakes Were Made is the latest original movie from the Disney Plus streaming service. Based on the series of books by Stefan Pastis, the movie focuses on 11 year old Timmy Failure, who alongside his imaginary friend Total, a polar bear, sees himself as the local detective, solving small crimes around town. When a backpack goes missing, a classroom hamster turns up dead, and his mum's Segway or Failure Mobile is stolen, Timmy and Total head out to solve what he perceives to be the the crime of the century involving supervillains and Russian operatives. I wasn't quite too sure what to expect going into Timmy Failure. I had not heard of the book series until recently, and I think the first one was published back in like 2013, which completely bypasses my childhood by quite a number of years. So I was in for a, a nice little surprise going into this one blind. I found this to be a very enjoyable uh, family film. It's very clever, it's very witty, and it's incredibly charming. It has this really beautiful dry wit, dry humour about it, and it's very, very quirky. If I had to uh, compare this to anything, I'd say that it's almost like a kid's version of a Wes Anderson movie. So if you imagine the kind of visual gags or the kind of dry humour that you'd expect from a movie like The Life Aquatic or The Royal Tenenbaums or The Grand Budapest Hotel, this movie kind of takes that style and employs it really, really well in its uh, exploration and visual of the child's mind, which really is at the heart of this film. Winslow Figler, who plays Failure, is absolutely fantastic in this movie. He delivers a really, really great performance and is able to encapsulate somehow this really dry, sardonic, kind of dead-faced humour that I kind of imagine would be really hard for a child actor to deliver. And it's something you don't actually see that often from child actors. I think the last time maybe I saw a performance like this would have been Macaulay Culkin back in Home Alone. The whole movie rests on his shoulders. All the big laughs come from his performance as this character and if he wasn't as good as he was I think this whole movie kind of really would have crumbled. This is a great little tongue-in-cheek sleuth film and I think the kids are really going to enjoy it. I in fact as I said had a lot of fun with it uh, but this kind of thing really has been done before and I feel like it has really been done better. The novelty of this whole kind of Wes Anderson style does wear off fairly quickly once you get maybe 45 minutes into the movie and you just kind of want it to, to get somewhere, to move a little bit further. It is a lot of the same gags repeated over and over again but to be honest again this is a movie that is aimed at a predominantly child audience and it really isn't anything that tries to be any more than that. That said the movie does have this really nice core, this really nice heart, and really at that heart of the movie is this 11 year old kid who comes from a broken family, a uh, not so well off family, and sees himself kind of as an outsider from the rest of the world because of this. He sees himself as a little bit different, which leads him to having this overactive imagination, again, which is really visualized beautifully in the movie, even though it does, as I said, wear off fairly, fairly quickly. I feel like it explores these elements really well, but it doesn't really dive too deep. Again, this is a movie predominantly aimed at a child's audience, so it barely only scratches the surface and never really aims to do any more. It never really aims to dive any deeper, so you can't fault the movie on that. I really would have liked to see the movie explore kind of maybe some of these more deeper elements a little bit more, a little bit more in-depth, flesh it out a little bit. But again, that would make this a completely different kind of movie. Um, it's a beautiful family film. It's a great kids movie. And I think the kids really are going to enjoy this. It is, again, funny, it's witty, and it's everything that I think a kid is, is going to enjoy. And at that, it really does kind of remind me of the films that I grew up with as a kid and I think I really would have loved this had this come out like 20 years ago. And I think it would have been something that I probably would have had on like a constant rotation. It's corny and cheesy but charming and funny. It's kind of like the Disney of old. If you think back to like those 80s, 90s children's family movies, it really does embrace that kind of style, that kind of humour and that kind of heart and it is actually really nice to see this kind of thing on the screen again because I feel like we haven't had movies like this for quite a while. 
Honestly, this is the original content that people have been asking for from Disney for I guess the last decade or so. A decade which has been filled with remakes, reboots, sequels, big superhero blockbusters and Star Wars movies. This is the original content that people have been clamoring for and the original content that we used to see in surplus from Disney like 10, 20 years ago. And I think this is the way of the future for Disney original content. Um, and I think we just have to get used to the fact that these kind of movies are now going to be delegated to a smaller screen. This is not the kind of movie that is going to rake in big bucks at your local multiplex when they can go into the next screen and see Avengers Endgame. Uh, this kind of movie would have done really well probably 20 years ago, but in today's climate, it's a movie that I think will get more exposure, will get more eyes viewing it on a streaming platform. And I think it can actually do really well and uh, really thrive on this format. Again, Timmy Family is a really fantastic family movie that the kids are absolutely going to love and the adults are going to get a little bit of a kick out of as well. That said, I am happy to give Timmy Family a very solid 3 out of 5. And at that, I'm going to throw this over to you guys out there. I want to know, have you seen Timmy Fowley? What did you think about it? If you haven't seen it just yet, what are your thoughts going into it? Find away down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. Until next time though, guys, take it easy and I'll see you on the next one. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more like it in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen, as well as that like button down below for that little extra support. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media, and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day.